Hi there, I hope you're well. If you're familiar with my channel, you might have seen my TV license rant video. And if so, you'll know I don't have a TV. We're currently in the midst of the coronavirus lockdown and I was feeling the need for some additional entertainment because I'm pretty much housebound at the moment. I already have an Amazon Prime account, plus plenty of DVDs that I could play through my laptop. So I thought I'd get a projector and a fire stick so I could cinematize my experience. Cinematize. Have I, have I just made up a new word? <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. There are plenty of Kindle TV stick videos already out there, so I won't bore you with how I've set it up, because you can find that elsewhere. What I thought I'd do is show you why I went for the Aikman LC550 projector and do more of a review on that, and how I've set it up for ease of use and for what I consider to be the best effect. Is this projector worth buying? Yes, it is. So if you want, there's a link in the description below where you can check it out on Amazon. It's currently about £100. But if you want the nitty gritty on my experiences with it, keep watching. I picked this one because it has a 720p native resolution. And so I figured it would handle larger images a lot better. Another deciding factor for me was the dual HDMI ports so that I could keep both my laptop and Fire Stick plugged in without having to continuously swap them over every time I change source. And yeah, these are great pros. However, one really bad point is, contrary to the advert on Amazon, there is no central screw to mount this on a tripod. And I strongly suspect you'd struggle with a ceiling mount too. There is a height adjustment screw on the underside at the front. And whilst it's the same size screw fitting as a tripod, it's nigh on impossible to use because A, it's recessed and a tripod shoe screw is quite short, so it barely penetrates. And B, the weight of the projector is actually behind that mount. So it means it's almost impossible to lock in place without the projector's weight pulling it backwards. You need a really wide base tripod or another option. Well, I happen to have a piece of plywood knocking about. So I drilled a small pilot hole in the middle of it and I screwed the tripod shoe plate into it. And as you can see, it works fine with the weight more balanced over the tripod. As you can also see, I've got the laptop HDMI cable plugged in here, along with the Fire Stick in the other port. The USB port does provide enough power to power the Fire Stick, and thus you don't need to have it plugged into a separate socket. I've got a Bose SoundLink Revolve plugged into the Audio Out headphone socket, and it works great. And unlike some setups, there's no lip sync lag or any other synchronization issues. The reason I've plugged the sound link in is because the speakers on this, whilst they're okay, if you want a more cinematic experience, you do need to have better speakers plugged in. So, hey, what's the image like? Because that's one of the most important things, right? I wasn't happy with the image at first, and that was using the pre-installed settings. So I used my laptop, the screen on my laptop, as a guide, and I played with the user settings until I got it as close to my laptop screen as possible. So these are the settings that I actually use. You can pause the video if you like to write them down. You might find that they work for you. The curtains in my bedroom are in no way blackouts and the sun does stream through the windows when it's out. When the sun's out, the image is virtually invisible. However, this clip here was during the day and as you can see, it's not too bad. It was better than the video actually shows. As dusk falls or in darker rooms, this is when this really comes into its own. And as you can see, the image is pretty cool. Some of this is from the Fire Stick and some of this is playing one of my videos from my YouTube channel through my laptop. I'm just showing you what the difference is from the two different sources. I'm really happy with this projector and yeah, as I say, it's worth buying. I've posted a link in the description below and it's currently around 100 quid. I hope you like this. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you've got any questions. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.